Hey everyone, some people were asking me if a lot of apartments in South Korea for one person, if they all look very similar to my apartments in Nanju, and the answer is not really. Not all of them look that clean or that like modern style. So in this video, I'll give you a tour of this apartment here in Daejeon. Daejeon is a city located in the very center of South Korea. This apartment is good for maybe one or two people because there's not a lot of space for maybe a family per se. I really like that this apartment is separated from the bedroom space with the sliding door to the kitchen. I also like that this apartment has its own individual washing machine and that plants room or that separate room that has that sliding door and I'll just show you in this video. So when you first walk in the door here, it has the same area where you take off your shoes at the front door. I really like that this apartment has this type of lock to make sure that it will not open even if you know the passcode. And it also has a nice real door handle. And I also like that it has this type of hole to look into the hallway to see what's going on. And up here is a circuit breaker. I think it just went off as I said that. And also next to the door here is a few compartments area for the microwave, hot water heater. And here's the kitchen area, sliding doors into the bedroom, sliding doors into the plant room or the laundry room, a cool table to have your meals. Here is the bathroom and there's also a cabinet area right here at the front door. This bathroom has the wet style bathroom which is pretty common in older style apartments here in Daejeon and possibly Korea. It's that when you turn on the water here that you can turn this around and it will connect all the way up to the shower head. It's pretty convenient if you want to keep your bathroom floor clean all the time and I also like that this bathroom actually has a window even though the wallpaper on the ceiling looks like it did not get enough ventilation in here. Also a mirror in the corner above that toilet there. Back into the kitchen area, you can see that it has a real fridge. It has a kind of pull neck sink faucet and it doesn't have a lot of counter space for my snacks or like real meals. And it has cabinets above the sink with some plates or bowls. And this type of stove is pretty popular because it's gas, not electric. So that is pretty much all the kitchen cabinets area. And on the other side of this table area is this sliding door, which is nice with the washing machine. And it also has the boiler and some hangers for air drying the clothing. I'm sure if you love plants, you could also make this a really cool plants room. Also, you may notice that these windows here still have the bubble wrap. When winter is coming, we're told that it's a good idea to put this type of plastic on your windows so it can keep all the heat inside the house better and the cold out. But I will keep this door closed. It's also really nice that this house has this type of sliding door to separate the kitchen space from the bedroom space. This bedroom is also a pretty good size. And it has a fan, a TV, and a twin size bed, and more windows. Kind of funny that there is the plus sign type of light fixture on the ceiling and also you may notice that the 
hot water and the bathroom will never get hot until you fix it over here first. It's a good way to save money and some energy as well. Definitely my favorite part of this apartment is that sliding door in between the kitchen and the bedroom space. I think it's a good way to divide the space and keep it more of a homey feel. Even though this apartment is a little bit older, I still think it's a pretty good size for one or two people. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this apartment. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.